Hi, I'm Heidi Joy Trathaway with the OpenStack Foundation, and I'm here with Jakob Pavlik yes. from Marantis, who was kind enough to coach me on that. Yeah. And would you start off by telling us a little bit about your role at Marantis? Yeah, so hello everyone. Thanks uh, for the opportunity to talk here. So my role is like I am basically director of product engineering, but in the reality it means that I'm driving like small team which uh, working on Mirantis Cloud Platform, which is new generation product for, for our customers and uh, the tooling around. So that's, that's the role. That's great. Well, thank you for joining us on Monday on the, on the big keynote stage to do a very risky demo. Um, maybe you can s start by um, kind of tee it up for us. What were the elements of the demo um, that, you, that you were showing us? Yeah, so, so the point of the demo was uh, really to demonstrate people uh, some real use case and um, not just specifically tie the demo to OpenStack as a component, but show how to use OpenStack, like map the real case, some like real, uh, real use case which can be used. Yeah. So I wanted to do something really fancy. So we basically just uh, use OpenStack, Kubernetes, and hardware nodes, all those like hype technologies which goes together, created single platform. And I want to ask you, just to clarify that, I mean, in this real use case, you're using virtual machines and bare metal and containers and all on the same network, the same same network platform, which right. is hard. I understand that that's a harder element. To, yeah, to yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's hard, but it's also opened the possibility for people to use their applications in, in this world, right? Because not everyone is ready to take the stack and run it in containers, right? Mm -hmm. So this gives people to leverage like non-virtualized, virtualized legacy application yeah. and orchestrate them across the platform, right? And to show it like and bring it to people which are not so much technology oriented, we took the big data use case and uh, real-time process, the most popular hashtag in, in Boston area in tech domain, right? Yeah. So you were pulling from the Twitter API that allowed you to kind of pull down all of the real-time information from Twitter so that we were able to process the hashtag. I wanted to ask, um, from a big data perspective, how big of data are we talking about? Um, how much data were you working yeah, with? It's, 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 it's not so big, actually, because Twitter, Twitter API doesn't give you 100% tweets which goes through. Oh, okay. So, uh, but uh, it's uh, tens, tens of hashtags processed in seconds. It's, it's, not, it's not so big, right? Okay. It doesn't give you all, all the content, but, but um, I think it's pretty nice use case yeah. just to show. Well, this real world use case was, it wasn't so much about skill as it was about the ability to leverage the one platform option from, from OpenStack that you could bring together containers, virtual machines, and bare metal all in one go. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because if I would come on stage and just start the VM and show people how I'm pinging the network, it would not like say anything, right? And yeah. we wanted to do a little bit show, right? Yeah. for the people and I think it was quite, it looks quite successful, like people reached me and uh, enjoyed this, this demo part. Yeah, it felt like the wow moment was when it was consistently refreshing the different words, which were the, the main hashtags from Twitter. So I wondered if you can talk about that wow moment. What was the level of risk for you doing a live demo? I mean, yeah. not live demos don't always work out. <clears throat> yes, and as I said on the stage, I had a couple of backups. Yeah. So I, I, I was ready in case of failure to, to switch to some, to some backup, which I, which I have prepared. but. Uh, I tested like many times and I have to say that on rehearsal uh, with the keynotes it didn't work so, so oh, good no. like on the stage so I think that the live stage perfectly fits the, uh, the time and setup everything worked like never before. That's fantastic. Well, what other things should we know about um, kind of how your demo demonstrates what's possible with OpenStack? So <clears throat> it should demonstrate um, how people actually, because it's also in the in the Mirantes and in the community, like lots of people focusing on like how to how to containerize OpenStack or how to uh, improve some specific parts. 
but uh, they missed one one point, which is like how actually can enable this platform to be broadly accepted for the users, right? How users should should be using, right? Like because user doesn't care so much. Uh, what network piece is there or what storage piece is there. He just needs to have same experience as he has on AWS and other uh, public cloud providers, right? So the, the point of this was to sh show people that we can do same things as uh, on public cloud and even more because you can leverage the, uh, the non-virtualized workload and all this kind of stuff. So that was the basically point to show the use cases and that's where we are now focusing not just like we are best in deploying OpenStack, but focus on stacks and sh show the people how, how, do, how, do, how to use them. Yeah, showing that OpenStack is in fact an integration engine. So. And I think it's, it's quite good because as you can see, OpenStack deployments is growing yeah. and uh, maybe Kubernetes popularity is, is uh, much bigger, but in the reality, we see the high interest in OpenStack uh, companies approaching it and if we are able to give them same experience as they have on public clouds I think it's valid opportunity. Great. Well Jakob Public, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, thank you.